Hello everyone, this is Indi Shang from Tsinghua University, presenting our findings on exploring the boundary of optimal irregular repair. This is a joint work from Tsinghua University, Microsoft Research and Alibaba Group. Object storage systems such as Facebook Haystack, Amazon S3, and Alibaba Cloud Object Storage Service are widely used to store immutable binary launch objects, including photos, videos, and documents. Replication is a common way to achieve reliability for these systems. However, replication has high storage cost. URL codes such as read Solomon code is widely used to achieve reliability and to reduce the storage cost compared to replication. The amount of data need for repair due to data loss is referred to as repair cost. For replication, we only need to repair by copy. URL codes suffer from high repair costs compared with replication. Regenerating codes are a special family of URL codes designed to minimize repair cost, unlike RS code which needs to read all data from nodes. Regenerating codes reduce repair cost by only reading a portion of data from each node. Some of the regenerating codes can achieve theoretically optimal repair cost while providing the same storage efficiency and reliability guarantees. Optimality in repair cost, however, does not solve all problems with regard to repair for object storage system using regenerating codes. There are two important operations in relation to repair for object storage system, recovery and the degree rate. Recovery is a process that the system restores its original fault tolerance to recover from data loss due to failures. Recovery includes repairing from the available pieces and writing the repair data back into the system. Degraded read is a process of reading an object where an object needs to be repaired because the server storing the object fails. To read an unavailable object, a user issues a request to the object storage system. The front end server then repairs the object and transfers the object back to the client. It is obvious that repairing and transferring can be pipelined and conducted in parallel with each other. Optimality in repair cost, however, does not necessarily improve recovery efficiency or reduce degree of time in a practical object storage system. Actually, high recovery efficiency and low degree of time are hard to achieve simultaneously. This is mainly due to the different granularity of repair between regenerating codes and RS codes. Euro codes like RS code repair as a granularity of bytes, so they can repair from any offset and size. Regenerating codes can only repair as a granularity of trunks. For regenerating codes, each trunk is further divided into tens or hundreds of small subtrunks. These subtrunks are correlated in a complex encoding structure. To repair a trunk, only a small portion of subtrunks are right from corresponding disks. This dispersed disk access pattern causes fragmentation, leading to reduced disk performance and thus recovery efficiency. A larger trunk size can help to increase recovery efficiency. To fully utilize disk bandwidth, we may need to set trunk size to hundreds of kilobytes for SSD, and we may need to set trunk size to hundreds of megabytes for HDDs. The trunk repair granularity also leads to increased degree of time. If we repair as a granularity of bytes like RS code, we can parallelize repairing and transferring repaired bytes to the client. However, for regenerating codes, we need to wait for the repair of the first trunk before transfer it back to the client. As a result, regenerating codes can have longer degree of time if trunk size is large, even with a lower repair time than RS code. Even worse, when reading an object that spans multiple chunks, unnecessary data are also repaired, which leads to read amplification and a longer degree of read time. Smaller chunk size can have lower degree of read time for such scenarios. This figure shows the trade-off between degree of read time and recovery efficiency at different chunk sizes for clay code, one of a recently developed regenerating codes. In summary, our study shows a fundamental trade-off between degree of time and recovery efficiency, where trunk size plays a key factor. A large trunk size can improve recovery efficiency at the cost of longer degree of time, and vice versa. Nevertheless, 
when funds are low degree time and high recovery efficiency can be achieved simultaneously. The key is to use variable chunk sizes and coding schemes for each individual object. We can obtain the benefit of both large and small chunks for each object and optimize for both recovery efficiency and degree time. Geometric partitioning partitions each object into chunks whose sizes are from a geometric sequence and 0 times q and 0 times q squared and 0 times q cubed. The front of each object is cut so that the remaining size of the object is a multiple of S0. If we have an object whose size is 15.7 MB, we first cut 3.7 MB from it so that the remaining 12 MB is a multiple of 4 MB. Then we partition the remaining part into a 4 MB chunk and an 8 MB chunk. For an object whose size is 10.2 MB, we cut 2.2 MB and partition the object into two 4 MB chunks. We put chunks to the corresponding buckets. Each bucket is a file on the disk that contains equal-sized chunks. For the buckets that store the fronts of objects, we use RS code to generate the parity. For other buckets, we encode them using regenerating codes. Based on our investigation of the trace from Alibaba Cloud Object Storage Service, we find that storage capacity is dominated by larger objects. The storage capacity can consume. For degraded read, we start to repair from a small chunk size to avoid unnecessary waiting for the repairing of the first trunk. Then we limit the ratio of adjacent trunk sizes so that the repair of the current trunk can predate the transfer of the previous trunk. Finally, we employ the largest possible trunk sizes under the above constraints to improve recovery. We can see that degraded read time is close to transfer time when transfer is less blocked by the repairing of trunk. When transfer is blocked by repairing, though not optimal, the pipelining of geometric partitioning still helps to reduce degraded read time. In summary, by using geometric partitioning, with amplification is eliminated because each chunk only belongs to one object. Pipelining is efficient because we read from a small chunk. Recovery is efficient because the majority of capacity is consumed by larger chunks. To implement geometry partitioning, we use our highly optimized clay code implementation, which we generate at 5 gigabytes per second. We put data in batch to avoid costly parity updates. We support fully parallelized recovery so that recovery can be done as fast as it can. The parameters for geometric partitioning are tuned by sampling and searching. We support range access by reading related trunks and discarding unnecessary data from these trunks. The details of them are in the paper. We use a cluster of 16 servers, each equipped with 6 SAS HDDs and a SATA SSD. Clients have 1 gigabase per second connection to the system. We evaluate our system by using the trace from Alibaba Cloud Object Storage Service on HDD and SSD respectively to show how geometry partitioning performs. This figure shows the average degree degree time and recovery time for different codes and layouts. Strap layout and contiguous layout are two alternative layouts that use regenerating codes. Evaluation shows that geometric partitioning can have the best recovery degree read trade off compared to other competitors on HDD. Without geometric partitioning, regenerating codes cannot have better recovery performance than LRC code with acceptable degree read time. Geometric partitioning can also have very good performance on SSD because we still need large enough trunk size to utilize the parallel units in SSDs. We also vary client bandwidth to see how client bandwidth affect degraded read time. Results indicate that the degraded read time of geometric partitioning can be close to transfer time when network bandwidth is lower, close to repair time when network bandwidth is In conclusion, the trunk repair granularity of regenerating codes limits their usage in practice. Geometric partitioning solves the dilemma for choosing trunk size by partitioning objects into sizes that form into a geometric sequence. The source code is available at GitHub.
Thank you.